The activation phase begins when an antigen-presenting cell APC, of the host organism encounters and attacks an invading virus, virus. Meanwhile, other viruses look for nearby cells, such as epithelial cells, to infect. A lysosome containing digestive enzymes combines with the phagosome to process the antigens. The processed antigens combine with the MHC class II proteins and are presented on the surface of the APC. The virus also infects the epithelial cells. Within the infected epithelial cell the virus is processed, attached to an MHC class A protein and is presented on the cell surface. A helper T cell, CD4+, recognizes the displayed antigen on the APC and binds to the MHC class II antigenic peptide complex. The activated helper T cell releases chemical messengers such as cytokine IL-2 and gamma interferon IFNY. The effector phase begins when activated cytotoxic T cells, CD8+, which were stimulated to proliferate by the cytokine IL-2, recognizes the MHC class 1 antigenic peptide complex on the infected epithelial cells. Cytokines also attract killer T cells to the site of infection. The activated cytotoxic T cell binds to the MHC class L antigenic peptide complex on the surface of the infected epithelial cells. The binding causes the cytotoxic T cell to release a potent chemical called perforin. Perforin perforates the cell membrane of the infected cells causing the cells to lyse, burst, and die. As the viral infection is brought under control, the activated cytotoxic T cells are turned off by regulatory T cells. Memory T cells remain behind to respond quickly if the same virus attacks again.